Hey, this is Thomas and today I want to talk about extensions. So iOS has always been a very secure operating system and the main reason for that is that every app is running in its own container. And before extensions it was difficult for an app to share content with another app. But in iOS 8 extensions has been introduced and they are very useful. And there are a lot of different types of extensions, but I just want to mention three different types now. Uh, action extensions, sharing extensions, and today extensions. Uh, both share and action extensions can be accessed by um, tapping the sharing button, for example in Safari, and then the uh, UI activity controller will appear, and in the first row you can find the sharing extensions, and in the row below you can find the action extensions. Sharing extensions uh, can be used to share the content to um, social media or by using a messenger and action ex extensions can be used to modify the content or to view the content in another context. Um, today extensions are widgets that are displayed uh, inside the today view of the notification center and uh, an example for a today extension is for example the weather widget or the stock widget which are both provided by the operating system. Okay, and uh, now um, we want to talk about how you as an app developer can ship an extension. And an extension is always a target on its own within an iOS app. So in order to, to ship an extension you have to ship the whole app to the App Store and after the user has installed the app, the widgets and extensions are available. Okay, now let's look into a small example. I have already created a test project and now we want to add a today extension. For that we have to click on add a target and now we see an overview of all available extension types and we are choosing today extension. Uh, we need a name, today extension example. Click on finish and now we can see the target for the today extension. Now if we build the normal app target, then the, uh, not only the app will deploy to the simulator, but the extension as well. So the app is white because we haven't worked uh, in the app yet. But if we are swiping down, uh, we see already that one new widget is available. Clicking edit and here we see today extension example. Clicking done and we see this is the extension. And you might be wondering where hello world is coming from. So let's take a look inside the today extension and there is a view controller and a storyboard. And inside the storyboard there is indeed a label. We don't see the text because um, it's white on white, but as you can see here it's indeed hello world. Okay, so uh, you see um, the development of an extension is very similar to an app. And we see in the controller is a widget perform update method and this uh, method will always be called to update uh, the widget. Okay, um, in most cases um, the today extension should display content that was generated with the corresponding app. But um, since these are two targets, um, it's not so easy to share content between these targets. But it's possible by using the so-called uh, app groups. So we are on the app target and activate um, app groups. There's already uh, an app group. It's adding the, the group to the app ID. So in order for that you need a valid uh, Apple developer account and we also activate it on the uh, extension target. And now we can uh, share data between these targets by uh, using a special user defaults container. 
I want to copy it, but it's not possible. So, and how can we use it? Um, we can create a user defaults group. User defaults. And the name is group.com. I have to take a look. Group.com extension.text. Extension.text. And now we can write a value inside these user defaults. Uh, example text for key extension text. And now we can inside the today widget, uh, we can uh, access these user defaults. Um, if let extension text like group defaults value for key and that's this one as string. And now we want to set the label, um, but the label uh, doesn't have an outlet yet. So we are just making the outlet uh, extension label. And now we can write the value inside the label. Extension text. And now we are deploying to the device. And take a look at the uh, widget. And in fact, you can see the text example text and um, this way you can share data. Um, if you have a larger amount of data you can also access a shared directory um, in the file system but for small amount of data uh, using the shared user defaults is a great way. Okay I hope you liked this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Take care.